Hi everyone and welcome to 11-Bit Studio Show in the Gorilla Collective. You know us from the titles like Frostpunk, This War of Mine, Moonlighter, Children of Morta, and more. First up, let's visit the home of the Bergson family, the protagonists of Children of Morta, a story-driven roguelite action RPG set in a mesmerizing fantasy world. It's just got a new Game Plus free update, but there's more content coming. Here are a few words from Marek Zimak, executive producer at 11-Bit Studios. Hey guys, we hope you're doing okay. Luckily we are fine and we're working harder than ever. Children of Morta has a very special place in our hearts. And we also know that many of you out there really enjoy that game. Our previous free DLC has added new Game Plus mode to the game. But this is not the end of the story of Children of Morta. Obviously there's more content coming. We know that when it comes to RPG games, new characters are in high demand. This is exactly what we'll focus on in our next free update called Bergson's Home. We will be bringing you a brand new playable character to enjoy. Our brave hero merchant Will from Moonlighter is never tired of adventures. Between Dimensions DLC has just released on consoles. And now, Will is packing his backpack to discover the lands of mobile gaming. Here's Javier Jimenez, Digital Sun CEO. Hi there, folks. This is Javi from Digital Sun. It has already been two years since we released Moonlighter. It's been quite a ride for us, and we want to thank you all. We are celebrating this anniversary by releasing the Moonlighter DLC Between Dimension on all consoles. We know some of you have been waiting for, for that for quite a while, so we hope it's worth the time. And we are also announcing that we are releasing Moonlighter Mobile later this year. Uh, the mobile version of Moonlighter is going to be something quite fresh and quite new because we try to rebuild it. So it feels like a native mobile experience. It has new controls, it has a new graphic user interface, it has new approach to combat. So we think it's going to feel not like a simple port, but something that it's actually working as a native game. We want to share with you some bits of videos we have of the current gameplay so you can take a glimpse into what's coming. And that's everything I wanted to share with you. Thank you so much and see you soon. The scouts have brought news from the farthest, coldest corners of Frostland. The population of New London, humanity's hope, has survived. But was it all worth it? Here's a special reveal from Frostpunk's lead designer, Kuba Stokalski. Hello, everyone. Frostpunk is a grim society survival city building game. In January, it got a prequel expansion called The Lost Autumn, which enables you to see what happens just before the icy apocalypse. This new expansion tells a story of citizens of New London on a special assignment after the Great Storm. It opens not only a brand new chapter in the Frostpunk universe, but pits you against new challenges and new gameplay mechanics, both in the city and on the Frostland map, and reaching the experience. A brand new Frozen board is set, and the pieces are moving. What does it mean for you as the leader, and what fate awaits your society? Well, for now, I'm not going to spoil anything else. Let's just take a look at this short teaser we've prepared. They say that the snow is dead. But we've learned to the contrary. The universe of Frostpunk holds even more fascinating secrets. The next one should be really exciting, especially for fans of board games. Frostpunk is going offline. Here's Jacob Vishnevsky from Glass Cannon Games to unveil this mystery. Hi there, I'm Kuba Vishnevsky from Glass Cannon. Some of you might remember me as the co-author of the highly acclaimed This World of Mind the board game. Now, together with Adam Kwapiński, author of the best-selling Nemesis the Board Game, and my team, I'm super hyped to bring you an ice-cold tabletop experience. Ladies and gentlemen, Frostbank is officially going unplugged. The core gameplay will be, as you could imagine, morally complex and highly, highly challenging. We're working very hard to bring the emotions from the video game to your tables. Frostbank the Board Game 
is going to be a deeply strategic, yet easy to learn, hope experience full of tough choices, narrative depth, immersive gameplay, snow and despair. As you can see, there are some exciting adventures ahead of us. That's not all though. We're also working on some exciting in-house projects, as well as collaborating with other studios like Fool's Theory. A new game from Digital Sun Games is coming as well. And trust us when we say, there's more where that came from. That concludes the news from 11-Bit Studios. Be sure to follow us on Twitter, Facebook, and subscribe to the newsletter to always be up to date with the latest news. Stay safe and thanks for watching.